After a decade of waiting, the theme park builder is back. There are three games, three theme park builders that are now out and viable in early alpha sort of states and sort of early version states. And they are Parkitect, Roller Coaster Tycoon World, and Planet Coaster. Today, I'm going to put all three of them to the test by doing the same challenge in all three games and seeing what the result is. Because in my opinion, the most important thing about a theme park build or any creative management game is detail. The more detail you can put in, the better I and the more enjoyable I will find that game. So, I'm going to build a single small little park in each game based around a single ride, which is the swinging ship. You know, a little pirate ship that goes back and forth. That's the only ride that I could use. I can build a few shops or whatever, paths, bit of scenery, and see what I can come up with as I go. There will be a time limit of half an hour. I will spend half an hour in each of these games doing that, and at the end we will see the final results and compare them, and then you'll be able to make an informed decision as to which one is better. Nerd cubed, consumer friendly since. I don't know, yesterday? Right, I'm going to be doing these games in order of least to most developed. Like how far along their development cycle they are. So we're going to start with Parkitect, which is in pre-alpha. Then Planet Coaster, which is in alpha. And then Roller Coaster Tycoon World, which is in beta. My finger is on the timer start. I'm going to click New Park in 3, 2, 1. Click. The timer started. Right. In. Straight away. Three seconds to load. Very nice. Boom. I've got to be quite quick because I want to put as much into this as possible. Swinging ship is... Oh, now where do we want to put this? Do we want it this way or this way? I think it's more spectacular to see it as you come in the park. That sort of way. So we're going to stick it there. Right. We're going to open her up. And we're not going to open her up because I need to put the things on. Shit. Okay, the ride is in place. I'm just doing the path now. In fact, actually, if we make these... This is supposed to be a bit piratey themed. So if we give that more of a dirt path. Put a little dirt path underneath it. It looks a little bit more piratey. And then we're going to go for a... Uh, what colours do we want this to be? You have a whole sense of huge amount of colours. If we go for sort of a, a dark blue and a light blue to be sort of wavy, like wave sort of thing. Is that like okay? Well, it actually looks sort of a bit more like a bloody temple thing. But that's fine. That's party as well. No, that looks hideous. That looks hideous. Change it. Yeah, if we go for a bit more of a sky sort of blue. So people looking up at it all... It'll blend in. It'll blend in. Or we can make it sort of like tree trunks, like it's been held up by a tree sort of thing. Or like vines. There's a, a lot we can do, actually. See if we did sort of like a, a darker brown kind of base with it like that. And then we went for uh, a sort of a nice dark gray. Oh, 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 that looks, that's starting to look good. Okay, because this game has terrain tools, I think we should do terrain tools first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically take a chunk out from underneath it like that. Uh, are we losing something because it's, it's, the path tightens all the way around it? You know what? I think we are. Okay, so now this path goes round here, instead of just going straight on there, which means that I can now get the water tool. Right, we've got a few bits of, uh, props to go on here. There's a, a nice life raft we can stick on there. Uh, we can then go for, what else we got? We've got a barrel. Can we stick a barrel on the life raft? Oh, yeah, hang on. Apparently we can stick one there. Yes, we can have one on the life raft and apparently behind it. So if we rotate around, we can then get rid of that. Uh, and then we can have, say, some barrels here. So it looks like a barrel shipment has gone a bit AWOL. Oh, God, I thought someone was just vomiting then. It was bees or birds or one of those other sexy things. I'm going to fling some rocks down into this uh, watery abyss here. Like that. Can we actually put rocks on top of other rocks? No. For now, it looks like... Oh, no, we can. Yes, we can. Hang on. We go up. Rock on top. Oh, there we go. So we can actually make a few little... Rock stacks like that. Rock stacks! Let's put some big ones under there because it saves time and time is something we don't have much of. This is very much a time-based challenge. Right, sticking down some uh, water lilies. Spinning them around as I go. Stick them in all these places there. I like that you can just put them down. It's like you want them on the water. So we'll place them underneath. The nice rocky shore end up being quite nice and rocky. Uh, right, what else do we have? There's some props. What props? Oh, we did, we did the props. That's the water tower barrels. We want some bones. Have a, a few bones just uh, lounging around inside there. Don't know what they're doing. Hanging about. We'll have, we'll have just a set of bones just sitting here as well for mysterious reasons. Also, we can just have a coffin buried under there. Let's not do that. I don't want to scare the children. Not yet. Okay, let's build ourselves a something else. We've got these like building pieces. Let's actually have a go at using these building pieces so we can have... Ooh, right, if we have a wall like that, uh, oh, hang on, left shift and up, 
We'll build that there. We can have one with a window on it, like that. And uh, that one will keep itself high. Actually, what's that? Is that doors? I don't particularly fancy a door right now. Just a standard one here. And a standard one there. But does it automatically jump to the paths? Or do I have to raise it up? Oh, it automatically jumps to the paths. Have another one here and another one here. Actually, no. Let's delete that one and swap that one for a tall wall. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little dock thing for it all. Do we have a little fence? Oh, we have many fences. Pick a fence. Wooden fence is probably the one we're sort of looking for. Uh, if we can... Ah, I can't raise it up. Oh, but can I not put it on there? Oh, have I found a weakness? After a fair bit of searching, I found these little borders. Which will do very, very, very good for our little dock. And then we can go for... In fact, we could probably stick some more barrels up here. Barrel there. Barrel there. Can we have one on top? Yes, we can. A nice little stack of barrels on the edge of our thing. Uh, do you want another raft up there? Oh, let's put a vase in the corner. Just in case the link turns up. Right, I found out I could change the terrain. So I changed all of the terrain to be sandy. To give it a, a nice sandy sort of look. People are really screaming on this thing. Uh, we're going to need some shops and stalls. So we're going to make a nice shop and stall area here. What makes sense to be in this place... Uh, pretzels kind of looks a bit. It's a nice. It's a. It's sort of a little place by the, place by the sea. Actually, we should have the path go all the way around, and then this bit be a little bit extra somewhere. Okay, we're changing the paths again. Ah, slightly fucked up there. There's no sort of undo key. I put a path down, and it crushed one of the uh the dock bits, which is kind of a shame. But I will just put the. Where's where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No scenery and themings. I will just put the another roof on top there, so it'll be a small roof. There's no roofs. Oh, because that should be in structures. Found them. All right, I found some bull rushes, so I can do some bull rushing all the way around this, which is going to take a fair bit of time and probably a fair bit of processing power, which is going to be interesting. So we'll see how the game is coping once I've done these all the way around. And then I'll add some more rocks and things randomly. Oh, this is going to take some time, and time is something I don't have a lot of left. I have a rock sort of here. In fact, we'll have a few rocks, because we can sort of build the rocks up a little, can't we? Oh, hang on. Yes, we can. Yep. There we go. Right, I staggered them all around and I uh, moved the path in a little bit. I do like that when I get close to it, it gets this little fence around it. So I kind of want to maybe have a fence all the way around this side if we've got the time. I need a staff room. That's a new thing that we're going to need. Uh, I'm going to have that. Maybe I'll hide that away somewhere. If I had the time, I'd hide that away a little bit further and in like a staff only path. Actually, fuck, no. First I need staff. Where's my staff? I have no staff. Send in the staff. I do like the little, uh, you know where the little barrels are going. Because that one goes to pretzels and that one's going to ketchup. And that one's going to a bear with a ball. I like that. So they're all going to go in and they're going to stick all that stuff in there. I build a little teeny tiny employee only path coming off, say, here. Like this, which will lead to the staff room. Which can go that side. I will then, because you want to hide. You want to get the, the hide and the heat scene stuff out of the way. I will then attempt to hide it with some rocks, which are definitely something that fit. So we'll have a area like that. Let's just stuff and go down, but I will spat. Don't go in there already, mate. Jesus, you've only just started the day. Actually, I could have lowered the terrain. In fact, I wonder if I can lower the terrain while that thing's there. Will it go down with it? Nope, it will just do that sort of thing. Well, I'm going to do that sort of thing and fill it with water anyway. Why? Because it looks good. Actually, it looks like a water pumping station, but shush. Now, they're not my first choice for a uh, plant. For this sort of thing. But I'm going to absolutely go for some uh, fir trees around the place. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Just just sort of around the place. Just to sort of kneading it off. Sort of make it a, a big, nice final park. They do. If they're orange, they will erase each other. If they're red, they can't be built. So you got to be careful. You're not going to be just erasing everything. Let's move that out of the way. There we go. Right. We need uh, a few benches to sit down on. Like there and there and say there and there and here. And I am just literally throwing these down because I only have about two and a half minutes left. There and there. They're going to need some lights. Although I don't think there's any... Um, I should unlock benches. Oh, well. They're going to need some lamps. What lamp do we want to go for? A log lamp. Perfect. I don't think there is currently a day or night cycle. But I'll build the log lamps anyway. I've realised I can click and drag the fences. So I'm going to try and draw a little fence this side where all the trees are. Just very brief, very quick fence. Oh my god, I've deleted the path. Oh, it's all going to go wrong. Right, that's the fence all the way around. we got bins, we got handymen, we got people, we got a park, we've got a little ride. We've got a little thing for them to walk around. We have a few entertainers bustling around the place. We don't have any other rides. Is there anything I'm missing? Anything I'm missing? Anything I'm missing? I don't think there's anything I'm missing. Scenery, paths, we terraformed a little bit. I think we went through pretty much everything this game can do. 
Uh, we have 15 seconds left, so I'm just gonna put something down, very briefly. I'm gonna put a tree stump... there. And that is the half an hour! So in 30 minutes we can build a little... That's fairly detailed, that's got a lot of personality and a lot of touches into it. We have the slightly rocky, coasty bit over here. Maybe we could do that all the way around, but I just went for the quicker, jankly placed bull rushes. Uh, we have a nice little dock area here. We've got the little secret place where only there. These guys can go... Lip. Uh, we've got all the shops and things that people need. There is a little park based around one ride in Parkitect. Planet Coaster is next up. This is the game made by Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 developers Frontier. This is the one with the most pedigree behind it. Uh, and in my opinion, it kind of shows. Let's get started. I'm going to just do a sandbox field. Just a, a blank empty field. Finger on load park, which starts the game up. Finger on the timer. Three, two, one. Click both. Timer started. And the game is loading. And the game is loaded! Right. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Right, first things first is to build the thing. Actually, no. First things first is to link this. Oh, good. I've got a great idea. I've already got a great idea. This is going to go well. Right. If we go to the ride itself, which is called Victory, and plonk it down... Right. There's the obvious entrance exit. If we plonk it down there... No! Actually, not I will do. Because I can get down lower into this game and actually see a bit more, it's more visually impressive if I can do it sort of in the middle. So as you come in, it's like, whoa, right over your head. That's what I'm going for. A whoa, right over your head kind of moment. Uh, so let's just stick it, ooh, delicate, delicate, there. Right, that's where we're going to stick that. We need to place the entrance. The entrance can sit over there. Can we actually place the exit? Ah, if you place it there, it automatically makes it. That saves me some time. We'll add the queue to the entrance, and then the ticket booth I'll add in a second, because I'm actually going to delete some paths first. Well, smooth. Much better. Right. Open the ride. The ride is open. That means people are going to start turning up in the park. Uh, it's time to start decorating. Ooh, big major downside about uh, this game at the moment is that there's no terrain tools, so there's no water. I'll have to do something a bit clever clever for the water. To See, what, I, what I'm currently doing when I'm playing the game is I use these roofs here. That's what I use for water. Uh, they're quite they're shiny and they're slightly up in the air, but you can actually use them as water. But what I'm going to do instead for a very, very simple quick fix is if I go to the paths and choose this nice blue one here and then find a little place where it can build, build it onto there. Whatever's attached to the exit becomes the base. So there we go. That's a slightly watery base. Best I can do for now. Okay, if I build sort of the food court area over there, uh, this is the entrance bit and then this is just going to be the ride. I'm going to start decorating it by... I want to remove line of sight. I want people to constantly think they're in... Whatever the hell it is I'm making. In this case, a, uh, I don't know, a jungle. We're going we're gonna to go for sort of the jungle route. I'm jungling this place up. Right, I'm going for sort of a three-layered sort of uh, cover. I just want people, when they're walking around, to only be able to see, you know, what they're, what they're supposed to. I don't want them to see past it. I want every... I want, I want them to be fully immersed in the fiction. That's what I'm sort of going for. Oh, actually, hang on. When I finish building this, I can show you something I discovered quite recently while playing this. I uh, will have one there. We're going to have to have some over there as well, I've just realised, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, normally, if you pan the camera around, it does this sort of thing, because it's about, you know, you're building and walking around and stuff. If you tap T, nothing seems to change, but now when you pan around, you're actually in first person, you can fly around, so you can see the, the park from any angle you want, so you can actually get down to people level, and then you can see that right now, there's a few little gaps we can fix up, but they are getting immersed in the fiction. Which is nice, push T again, and we're back out apply the next layer of trees. Oh! Ow! Fuck! I was gonna build a props and things, but instead, what I can actually do is I can attempt to build a very small little pool. Yeah. Oh, that fits in there pretty bloody well. Look at that! Rotate that round. And then is that on the thing? Yeah, it's a bit too high. I'm gonna lower that down just a little bit to there. Now, I've gotta just make sure that none of the, uh, the water... Did they just stop to see what I'm doing? Move along! Nothing to see here! I've got to make sure that the, uh... Oh, hang on, that's the same rock as that one next to it. Yeah, I have to make sure that... Ooh! Let's hide it completely on this side. The, uh, the water can't pop out like it's doing in the bottom there. Otherwise, people will be like, Hey, that's not really a thing! And they'll be right. It's not really a thing. You can actually bury stuff pretty deep. So you can have, like, little bits of rock that stick out like this. And like that. And then you can have a bit of a rotation there, one on there. So that's the same rock in four different places, nice and very deep, and now we got ourselves a little bit of water. Uh, actually, why did I ever put the scenery in thimming away? It is my baby. Not actually my baby. That would be weird. But awesome. Now bush there, and then we're going to lower the bush down a bit. Everybody vanished because I accidentally deleted the ride when I was trying to delete one of these. But on the bright side, this game has an undo button, so you can just click undo and then the ride comes flying back. Uh, if we just... 
a little bit, just a little tiny little details of tidying in there. In fact, we could actually layer this bush up a little bit. So we have a little bit that goes up there, then comes up a little bit there, and then maybe a little bit, just a little bit more higher at the top there. And then we've got nice little layered bushes. This is just one little bush that I've used in a lot of different ways. Uh, a little bit there, a little bit there. Oh yeah, that's looking that's looking pretty good. Right, that's all done apart from the lighting, which I'll do when the sun sets, which isn't too far away. Ooh, game auto saved. I now need to attach a sign to this. Uh, that's the one for victory. We don't need to attach a sign, but I like to. I don't quite like that one though. Um, I'm gonna sort of do this a bit more manually. So if we go for maybe skull and crossbones with some flags either side of it, which we can rotate a little. Like there and there. Oops, daisies. No, that bit. Thank you, game. Thanks for paying attention. There we go. Much more fun. Right, I was doing the entrance, but night has started to fall, so I'm going to start working on the lighting. Now, we have loads of different types of lights, most of which sort of just like lighting stuff up like that. But we have colour lights, and these colour lights are very good for setting sort of a bit of a tone of the ride. In fact, if we, uh, for instance, do green lights behind here, and on from this side, you get like a much more sort of nicer greener thing, especially when you alternate it with red. So you have sort of this interesting lighting. So I'm going to do a bit of green and red throughout here very quickly. I'm going to light that bloody pond up. Right, now we've got the coloured lights in. If we set little uh, small glowing lights every now and then, just right up close, right up close like that, then uh, you get a nice effect from the other side. But see, see, it's all sort of like lit up from behind. See, so yeah, we've got the nice colours in the trees, and then we've got this, like, nice, everything's lit up from behind sort of look that I'm quite fond of. So I'm going to do it. Because, uh, we could, see, I, I, just, I always try and hide everything. I try and make it all hidden away. So then we can then go back to our little bushes, and we can lower one down there, and then we can raise one up, and then we can raise another one up. And then as much as you can see, it's sort of just in there. There we go. It's largely hidden away, and it gives that a nice look from that side. We can probably do another bit from over in these, over in one of these bushes here. Oh, I've had a bit of an idea. We can actually stick a few little lanterns on here. As it is piratey themed, a lantern or two uh, would look pretty good. So we can stick one sort of in there to give it a nice glow. So now we've got the two bits of blue shining that bit up, and then a little bit of orange picking out a little bit of detail in there. Oh, maybe we should have one on the, just a little one on the floor there as well. Just lighting this area up. Marvellous! I mean, I could put, like, actual standard path rides and stuff around, but... Oh, and I did a vote here. I don't know if I said that already. But, um, I'm quite fond of... Doing it my way. Next up is I want to light the actual coaster itself, or ride, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, with possibly, like, that bit of colour. Oh, if we go for red, I think red's the scary, spooky, aggressive colour. We can light both sides with red. We can probably do an underside of it with white. And then on this side, we can do kind of the same thing. Actually, no, this side can be white there with blues either side. So now instead of it just looking like it's going back and forth, we have a roller coaster that, you know, it's actually being lit up. Maybe a sort of a lighty blue in the middle like that. Oh, so many color opportunities. Oh, shit, I've just seen the time that I've got left. I spent a really long time on the lighting. Oh, my God, I do that. I do that a lot when playing this. Right, that can tuck down there, that can tuck down there. We'll have more palm tree related MacGuffins around here. And I, I want lights, I want lights, I always want lights. Gonna have sort of a, kind of a rocky area here, I think. Just some rocks, and then we can surround it with these, just these regular bushes. Uh, actually, if we just go for uh, these. These are like little tiny lights. We can have these all the way around. And then we can cover them with bushes! I like covering things with bushes, you may have noticed this at this point. There we go, it's a tiny little effect you can barely see because the sun's coming up. But you have this nice underlit thing, which I've always been a fan of. They do tend to do this in uh, pretty much anywhere, mostly swimming pools. But it looks nice, and I like it, and I'm doing it, and fuck it. Okay, I don't have time to wait for it to go to, to night again, so I'm going to stick down these spotlights and hope that they do well. I've got some uh, scaffolding-y things on either side of this entranceway, so I'm going to try and... Light them up in red. Just realized I haven't actually built any of the things yet, any of the food things. Right, so we're going to have a, a drink shop, and then we're going to have nothing, and then we're going to have a food shop, then we're going to have nothing, and then we're going to have the toilets, and then we're going to have nothing. That's the start. Uh, hang on, I need to now click on this, because this all counts as the one building. Move that over to where we sort of want it. I could be sitting at an angle. That'll do me fine. So sitting sort of there. And now, using the building tool, actually clicking on there and clicking edit, I can start constructing... 
it into one big building. Now, I don't really have the time to do a super great job on this, so I'm going to sort of rush it a little. But, uh, yeah, you can just sort of chunk whole bits together. It's very, it's very, um, Lego-like. So, clearly, I think this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. What do we think of that? Uh, no, that's too flat. It's too flat. It's too flat. I've actually, because I've built, uh, I built that, um, like, sort of resting on the top. If I build it out of the top slightly, uh, so instead of building it, hang on, go up. Yeah, build it out one. Instead of building it on the wall, out of the wall, then I'll actually give it a little bit more texture that I can play with as I go. Right, that looks much better. Although I don't like the fact that they're there and they're there. I want the toilets to be the other way around. So, facilities, toilets can go in the middle just to make it look like that. And then that's a uh, food shop we need to stick in there. Good. And now I've got to rebuild those walls. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. I don't have time. All right, a few little windows on here. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? We're going to have sort of bigger windows quite close to them like that. I feel like I need something going down the side there. What have we got? We've got a bit of roof molding. Superb. We can stick that on the side there. Like that. And then like... Uh... Oh, hang on. How do I do that side? Oh, I'll build the wall slightly different. Oh, well. Don't have the time to fix that. And like that. Actually, I could build that all the way along underneath, couldn't I? Yes, we're going to do that as well. Right, there you go. I pathed everything up. So now people can get to all of these things. Toilets, food, etc, etc, etc. Uh, right, uh, shit, I need to scenery it, I need to scenery it fast. Small collection of them, small collection of them, they're slightly floating palm trees, I've only got 10 seconds left. Uh, let's light it in very, very quick, brief ways. No, wait, I actually struck light something in the first place. Awesome, that's everything. Oh, I wanted to put a bench there, but I'm out of time. I'm out of time, so, that's the little park that I managed to build in Planet Coaster. Takes a fairly large amount longer, because I'm having to consider a lot more things. Got a nice custom little house here for my, uh, all my, uh, shops. Etc. I love how those shops look. They are bloody beautiful. Um, I got some nice lighting and stuff. In fact, what I'll do is I'll fast forward to night so we can see it at night time as well. Because I spend a lot of time making it look good in night as well as in the day. Right, night time has fallen. We can have a, a quick look-see in the park at what people would see. And yeah, there you go. You get that nice sort of like just warm. Look at that. And it's got the nice blue lighting on it. Uh, this area came out quite nicely. Uh, with its lighting. A little bit of lighting. But it's, uh, it's doing its job quite well. We got this... Uh, Nice crane in red. We got that in red, although I would have changed the color to something like blue. Uh, I really regret I didn't be able to get a bench or something in here. Nice lighting in here. Uh, well, how about the entrance lighting? Yeah, no, see, I like I like the little bits of light getting picked up in there. I think that works really nicely. Uh, then if we go around here, a little bit of lighting in here. No under lighting here, I'm afraid. Didn't get around to that. We've got our entrance way with a skull. We've got our little boat as we go through there. As we come through here, we've got the little water pool. You can't quite see the water from this side, which I also regret. Grr. Um, but you do have this nice uh, lining all the way around here. Dum -dum 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 -dum. And then everything's a bit glowing. Ooh, that's something got very tall. And then you get to go on the ride. Which is the centerpiece of the whole park. And then uh, I like seeing it from this side. You think, oh my god, that's far too much colour. And then you go around and you're like, oh no, that actually that works quite well. Didn't get around to doing this stuff though. Yeah. So yeah, you get a lot more control in Planet Coaster. But because of that, it takes a lot longer to do anything. And I had to rush some stuff. But uh, I think overall... Looks quite good. Roller Coaster Tycoon World is next. This is the game by, I'm going to say Atari at this point, just to keep the video up to date. It's on its third or fourth developer. Originally supposed to come out in 2015, early 2015. It's had its release date pushed back so many times. Uh, it finally came out in March 2016 in early access. They finally hit one of the goals by releasing it in early access. Um, it had a beta weekend a, a while ago that was awful. Uh, I'm not going to lie and pretend that I'm not massively biased against this game, but I'm going to give it a damn good go and try and make something good out of it. Maybe they've changed it. Because having more than one or two, in this case, good roller coaster games would make me happy. So I want this to be good. I genuinely do. I don't expect it to be good. I genuinely don't. Right. Finger on a start sandbox. Finger on the timer. Three, two, one. We click. We wait. This one takes a little bit longer to load. I assume last time it took fucking forever to load. I assume they would have done some, any optimization on this game. That's doing a lot better than it ever did. Uh, 11 seconds, 12. Wow, that's going... Yep. That infinity symbol, not a great symbol. Not a great... Why not just a single loop? Why do I have to be the infinity one? Because no road coasters kind of tip around that way. There we go, just 24 seconds to load up. Wow. Wow, that's small. 
Jesus. Oh no. Okay, okay. I assume we can expand our land out because of that. Anyway, right. Enough faff. Can't really look at this. I uh, haven't touched it since the last one. Gonna have a play. Need to find that ride. Right, found the uh, the ride. Unfortunately, it's got an absolute shit ton of uh, theming like built into it. So, gonna have to uh, do something about that. I need to get it in the middle. Uh, is that straight? Yeah, you can only snap to like 15 degree angles. Uh, so if we build it sort of... Are we going to the entrance of the front? Oh, Park's Great's first visitor. Marvelous, they've actually put visitors in the game now. I guess that lives there then. What's your name, visitor? Why are you running like it? What is that supposed to be? It looks like someone's sneaking like in an old 50s cartoon, but in fast motion. What's your name? I'm sorry, could any of the screen not be UI right now? Right, Q path. Need to build a Q path. Uh, Sci-fi roped Q with sand seems much more our kind of thing. Uh, how do I, how do I, how do I curve this? What's this? That's adjust. Hold shift. What's that? Hold shift to do what? Oh, adjust with the mouse wheel. Oh, yeah, okay, right. That's not what I want. I want to curve it, because you can do curve pass, but I assume, okay, maybe Q's you can't actually curve. So Q's has to be straight. Right, okay. Uh, I'll do just a wobbly Q that goes over and down into there. And then for a nice curved path into here. What kind of uh, concrete, sandstone, stones? Ooh, herringbone. What else we have? Red interlocking brink. Sand! I'm in a sandy kind of mood. That was an image of a gun then. It's like, it's the gun you need. Ah, right. So we click and then click again to make curves. So click and then click again. We made a nice little curve. A bit different to the other parks, but uh, yeah. Now lagging to absolute balls for some reason. Yeah! Shut the fuck up, Atari PR! Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This game does have terrain modification. Uh, oh, and they've actually added a brush size. Oh, no, they haven't. Do we still have to zoom out to make the brush bigger? Yes. Okay, right. I need that to go down a bit. That's not going to work because that fucking thing's in the way, isn't it? Shit. All right, fine. Never mind. I need that to fuck off. Hang on. That can fuck off. Yes, I'm going to bulldoze a flat ride. I'm going to rebuild it. Ooh, I wonder where that was. Or we could have it sort of sitting on the island. Well, it, was, it had water on the thing itself. No, we'll, we'll bury it under the water. Right, the water tool in this game, you click... Oh, that's very fast. You click and it sort of splooshes water in. A bit city skylines there. What happened? Oh, fuck me. Oh, yeah, I forgot that does that really weird night time. It's night time now. The water, I mean, seriously, come on. Fucking Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 has stunning water. You've got to be at least that good, and that is nowhere near that good. Um, I want to be careful because I don't want to flood my park, which you can do. I want to just fill that with water. Right, we've got it in the rodder now. Now we need to build the ride. Which, uh, if we... It says invalid location. I assume that's just because of reasons that I don't care about. And... Can I raise it up? Ah. Raise it up. Raise it up. There we go. What is this weird fucking jaunt everyone's doing? Better question. Why is that two people? Better question. Where the fuck did everyone just go? Right, let's open the ride. Oh shit, can we ride it now? Oh my god, we can ride rides. Hooray. Oh my god, what was that? Did this just break down? Literally broken down. Opened it for a second and it immediately broke down. That's good. Right, let's work out how higher people. Are you people? Social hub. Let's never click that button. And where do we get the people from? Objectives. Doesn't work. Park rating. That's just the park rating. Park operations and park value. There's nothing there. Peep count. There's nothing there. Notifications. That's just notifications. Let's clear all those away. Free camera is just free camera. Time of day you can just lock. That's the date. Can't click that. Play pause. Game speed. Passing queues, scenery, buildings, rides, roller coasters, modify terrain, move tool, delete, grid and snapping, current cash, can't click, this month's profit, can't click, heat maps, not what I want, finances, uh, social hub is just friendly things, options, I literally cannot work out how to hire new stuff. How? Don't, how? How the fuck do I hire new stuff? Rebecca, I need help. Game speed, play pause, date, time of day, free camera, objectives, park rating, park operations, peep count, notifications. Do you park need to hire extra people? Yeah, because the fucking ride's broken down. Oh. I'm not being an idiot. There's nothing here that is hire people, is there? No. Okay. I'm not being an idiot. No. Good. You may go. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have a pirate theme. Adventure? That's just their main music. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, so you can play one of... Four tinny sounds. There's test, which you can't do because it's broken. And then there's peep thoughts. There's a huge queue for it. But seriously, I physically cannot work out how to hire staff. Which seems like something that should be really fucking obvious. Hiring staff. I cannot work out how to hire staff. Uh, under buildings, then staff. Then build a building and it shows their number. What? What? 
Buildings? Staff. Oh, because staff are a fucking building! Mechanic building. There it is. Look, we can have a mechanic building. Can we have a small mechanic stall? Which I'm going to have to hide away behind trees and shit like I did the other ones. Right, there. There we go. I only wasted fucking a shit ton of time doing that. Right, number of employees. How about three? I can have three. There, open. Good. Now we've got three employees. I don't know. Oh, the path's back there. Okay, so I have a path that ticks out here, ticks out over there, goes in there. Uh, snapping. Okay, I can only do it from there, so fuck it. That's where that goes. And it's changed all that because it hates me. It just actively at this point just fucking hates me. Calm, calm. We're here to build things. Right, so I'm going to try and build some trees, but all of this is an invalid location where I can't build any trees to try and cover this up. I just wanted to build some bamboo. There we go. A nice bit of bamboo. Hide that in there. Well, that's as far as that goes. And then it pops over here. I'm going to fucking stab her in the face in a minute. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. There! Ah, right, if I move my mouse back here, I can build one diagonally there, and then I can build one there. Good! Well, that's nice and hidden by bamboo. Love the level of detail. Currently running this at maximum graphics, by the way. Maximum graphics. Uh, coconut tree! Palms! That's what we're looking for. Right, yes, back in the thing, back in the thing, back in the thing. Right, there's a sand texture. It's called sand texture. Your park is very dark. Yeah, well, it's night time. That happens. That's called sand texture, but that looks like a fucking volcano has shat itself recently, so I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to go for a... Let's get the grass back. Let's get the grass back. Let's get the grass back. I'm going to go for uh, some rocks. There we go. Some, a nice rocky sort of ledge thing going on here, and I'll put some food things in the middle there because I've run out of time because I couldn't find out how to fix the fucking thing. I'd like to point out now that this still hasn't been fixed. I can't see it. Oh, there we go. There's a mechanic. Jesus, look at the stuttering of them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's incredible. That's really, that's really good. How close do you have to get for them to stop stuttering? About there, look, this person stuttery, stuttery, get close, and then they're fine. And then you get too close, and then they all just fuck off for some reason. Right, let's get ourselves a little tiki drink stall. Uh, some of these will actually snap on nicely to this. Mmm, smooth optimization. But, uh, yeah, we can build it sort of anywhere and then extend the path out, or we can have it in very few little places. That's one of them. Uh, what do we want for food? Croco burgers. Fantastic. Croco burgers do me... The world of good. Got to rotate it though, because it can't work out to just turn itself. There. And we want one more. We can have these nice little restaurants. I do like the idea of having restaurants. Oh my god, this sounds a fucking awful in this. Yeah, woohoo, you're having a great time on the one ride. There's... Oh, it's not broken down anymore. No wonder you're fucking celebrating. Shut up! Right, and there's some bongo balloons, apparently. There, that's the stalls. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, build it there. I'll colour in around you, don't worry. Just like to point out that uh, if you have snapping on, then you uh, get that nice little bit of attention there. If you have snapping off and you want a more specific placement, you actually can't build up to the paths. They won't just magically connect that. You have to do it further away and click it on. So you have to have snapping on for that. So, yeah. Right, I've turned snapping off because I'm going to build myself some rocks. Camera keeps zooming out every time I click something. That's odd. Right, we've got adventure rocks here. These are adventure rocks. This one looks like a hat. That's much adventuresomeness. Uh, can we stack them? How do we... No, we can rotate them. We can't actually get any stacking. This is the first game where we can't stack rocks. That makes me feel sad on the inside. Stop zooming me out, for fuck's sake. There are bigger rocks, but they do look like Triceratops shit, so I'm not going to bother with them. And there's also uh, Western rocks, if uh, that's your kind of thing. Which it isn't, because I'm trying to build, you know, a non-Western thing. Okay, we've got some nice palm trees. We can stick some nice palm trees around the place. Uh, so we can have some palm trees just randomly scaled through here. Now this is one of those games that will randomly assign them heights and things. If there's a specific kind of palm tree you want, uh, go fuck yourself. Slight variations, I'm a fan of. Actually doing just completely fucking different trees, that's irritating as fuck. Okay, I'm now looking for a different kind of palm tree to start doing some blocking. There's that, but it's a fucking... That's, that's that! What the fuck is this? Is this like tree tinder? Right, I've wedged down a whole bunch of trees. The there's such a huge wall around the trees. It's very, very difficult to actually uh, place anything. But we got some trees. You know, we're getting there. If we go to the free camera, you know, we're oh fuck, it's the slowest free camera in the world. But, you know, look, we've got some. We've got. We've definitely. We've def. We've. This is fucked. We've fucked this up massively, haven't we? Right, let's get off the foliage. What do we have? We have facades, facades. We have. Oh, that's just some things we can put to have in the distance. Oh, that's kind of cool. You know, we have a thing in the distance over there. There we go. There's look. There's a temple in the distance over there. No need to question that. Now, uh, there's one that fits us, so that's all right. There's centerpieces, so we're going to have some temples and shit. Um, I don't know why we need the facades. We've got temples and shit, but uh, we'll have a temple and shit. We can have, like, a sunken one. Do we have something we can sink? No, we have... Oh, we have, like, a treasure island. 
Let's raise that up. Okay, we can't raise that up. That has to sit on the ground. It only has the rotate. But we can have that under the sea, which is useless. It's a fucking treasure island. You can't just make it float on the sea. All right, what I'm going to actually do with these facade facades or whatever is I'm actually going to give the distance a bit of a design. So if I get these just right, I can actually make it look like there's these surrounding it. I mean, I know it's just the same thing over and over again, but I've only got the one to play with. Right, I've moved my Mayan temple to be up here, so it's got a bit of like a, ooh, look, there's a temple on the thing. Uh, let's just trash that, trash that, etc., etc., etc. Come on, delete them, delete them. I need the fucking room. That can sit there, and maybe we can have this rock pool thing in front of it. So it's like, ooh, there's some shit going on there. Uh, Archie's sign speciality. That's just... That is just apparently plazas where people can walk around. That's a... Uh, Mods. They're very heavy on mods. They're like, you can mod it! And then we don't have to do anything. Do you want an Atari hedge? No? Good. Decor. Well, Western Lamp Postal, some candy canes. So, oh, that's decor enough. Have they actually fixed the fences yet? That's a really important question to ask. Um, I'm going to have a fence just around the back here. Can we click and drag fences yet? No, we have to place them down individually. Which is very, 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 very annoying. Especially considering we can't even stack the fucking things. Uh, let's stick some benches around the place. I can have them out a little bit there. There's some benches, there's some benches, there's some benches. I can have one in, but only in certain places. Like, I couldn't have them actually there. Uh, they're western benches, but so there isn't really a piratey theme. There's adventure, I suppose. This is adventure, but what kind of pirate adventure has that? Anyway, there's a bin there. And there's a bin over there. Uh, we can do... Can we do lighting? We've got lighting. There we go, we got lighting. At least we can have some lighting. Bamboo torch! Perfect, let's actually light this place up. Right, I'm going to just add a few more rocks to this other side. Because I really, 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 really want to have, like, something. Just something. Stop zooming me out, I will break your face. Just something, like, in the universe. Something that makes people go, hey, look, we're on a roller coaster thing. It'll make me happy. Come on, there we go, right. Okay, and that one's good, because that was floating until that came along. There, now when they're waiting, they can have a look through this slightly... Oh my fucking god. This slightly rocky place. We just can't stack things. There's no height to it all. I mean, we could do that since fucking Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. That can piss off. There, when you're up here, you've got this. Park is very crowded. Yeah, well, tough tits. Um, fucking 25 seconds left. What more can I do? I can, I can stick some fucking trees around the place. That's what I could do. Let's do it quickly. Let's get some palm tree, palm tree, palm tree, palm tree. These ones, palm trees. Go, 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 go. More, 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 more. Come on, more, more. Palm tree the shit out of this. Palm tree until it dies. And palm tree, palm tree, palm tree, palm tree, palm tree, palm tree, palm tree. And that's it. Well, it's took my palm trees away. Right. Let's time up on that. Yeah, I had. Oh, what's wrong with these? Why can't these do things? Are they just not open? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, there's something there. The water tool, you know, the terrain tools and the water tools quite nice to actually get some things. And that's definitely a ride out in the ocean, which took a little bit of doing, but it's definitely there. Just the scenery and theming lacks so much. That was night. That thing we just went through there was night. Can we change it? We can We can lock it. We can't change it. Let's make it go fast and see this park in the night time, because in the daytime, it's not really locked. Got what? Going for it. Night time! Yeah, uh, the colour's all off really badly at night time. There's, you know, there's slightly nice lighting here. You know, this is this is lit up. I'll give it that. Definitely lit up. But it's so bright everywhere else, it just doesn't feel like it's necessary. I, I don't understand why, why that's all just deleting. That just seems really strange. That Someone's shot that kid in the arm. I don't know what's wrong with him. So, uh, in conclusion... I suppose. Uh, Parkitect is the game you want if you want the isometric, old-school kind of roller coaster tycoon. Planet Coaster is the next generation of tycoon games and exceptional. And Roller Coaster Tycoon World is ugly, restrictive, badly designed, broken, and I believe it's going to be one of those games that are eventually just going to go, oh, it's finished now, when it'll still be an absolute buggy mess. Uh, so yeah, get Planet Coaster or Parkitect. Or both. They're fucking great. The Nerd Cube. The Nerd Cube. So, uh, I flooded the place, and, uh, the park's now getting recommended to people's friends, and nobody seems to notice that they're underwater. Quality game. Quality. <laughs>